Joshua 7. But the Israelites acted unfaithfully in regard to the devoted things. Achan, son of Carmi, the son of Zimai, the son of Zeha, of the tribe of Judah, took some of them. So the Lord's anger burned against Israel. Now Joshua set men from Jericho to Ai, which was which is near Bethel, or which is near Beth Avel, even to the east of Bethel, and told them go up and spy out the region. So the men went up and spied out Ai. When they returned to Joshua, they said, Not all the people will have to go up against Ai. Send two or three thousand men to take it, and do not weary all the people. For only a few are for only a few men are there. So about three thousand men went up, but they were routed by the men of Ai who killed about 36 of them. They chased the Israelites from the city gate. They chased the Israelites from the city gate as far as the stone quarries and struck them down on the slopes. At this, the hearts of the people melted and became like water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell face down on the ground before the ark of the Lord, remaining there till evening. The elders of Israel did the same and sprinkled dust on their heads. As Joshua s and Joshua said, O sovereign Lord, why did you ever bring this people across the Jordan to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us. If only we had been content to stay on the other side of the Jordan. O oh Lord, what can I say now that Israel has been rooted by its enemies? The Canaanites and the other people of the country will hear about this. And they will surround us and wipe us and wipe out our name from the earth. What then will you do for your own great name? The Lord said to Joshua, Stand up. What are you doing down on your face? Israel has sinned. They have violated my covenant, which I commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen. They have lied. They have put them with their own possessions. That is why the Israelites cannot stand against their enemies. They turn their back and run because they have been made liable to destruction. I will not be with you any more unless you destroy whatever or whatever among you is devoted to destruction. Go consecrate the people. Tell them tell them consecrate yourself in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says that which is devoted to that which is devoted is among is among you o israel you cannot stand against your enemies until you remove it in the morning present yourselves tribe by tribe the tribe that the lord takes shall come forward clan by clan. The clan that the Lord takes shall come forward family by family. 
and the family that the Lord takes shall come for, forward man by man. He who is caught with the devoted things shall be destroyed by fire, along with all the all that belong to him. He has violated the covenant of the Lord and has done a disgraceful thing in Israel. Early the next morning Joshua had Israel come before come forward by tribes and Judah was taken. The clans of Judah came forward and he took the Zorite, Zorites. He had the clans of the Zorites come forward by family and Zimmer was taken. Joshua had the Joshua had his family come for forward man by man and Achan son of Carmi the son of Zimmer the son of Zeha of the tribe of Judah was taken. Then Joshua said to Achan, My son, give glory to the Lord, the God of Israel, and give him praise. Tell me what you have done. Do not hide it from me. Achan replied, It is true. I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. This is what I have done. When I saw in the plunder a beautiful robe from Babylonia, 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and took them. They are hidden in the ground inside my tent with the silver underneath. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran to the tent, and there it was, hidden in the tent, with the silver underneath. They took the things from the tent, brought them to Joshua and all the Israelites, and spread them out before the Lord. Then Joshua, together with all the Israelites, took Achan, son of Zura, the silver, the robe, the gold wedge, his sons and daughters, his cattle, donkeys and sheep, his tent, and all that he had to the valley of Achor. Joshua said, Why have you brought this trouble on us? The Lord will bring trouble on you today. Then all Israel stoned him, and after they had stoned the rest, they burned them. Over Achan he heaped up a large pile of rocks, which remains to this day. Then the Lord turned from his fierce anger. Therefore, that place has been called the Valley of Achor ever since.